Have you ever had a special voicemail on your phone? One that has moved phone to phone with you? Wouldn't it be nice to have that memory right on your computer? Join me as we show you just how to do that. Welcome to Life with Tech, where we help you take back control of your tech. My name's Thomas, and let's dive right in. Okay, guys, we're going to head over to the iExplorer webpage, which is marcoplant.com. Once there, we're going to go ahead and hit the Downloads tab up top, and we'll see all the apps. We want the iExplorer 3. Uh, we're going to go ahead and download the, the trial for right now. We're on the Mac, so we're going to grab the Mac version. Hit that download button, and it should automatically start downloading to your downloads right here. We're going to open up that location. I do have two in here because I did this once. So let's go ahead, delete one, and we'll double click on the other one to open up the DMG file. Okay, once it's open, we're going to you know just drag and drop it right to your applications folder. Close the rest of this. Okay, now we could just do a quick spotlight search. Command space, go I, Explorer, there it is, IX. Okay, here we go. So we're going to continue with demo. And right now I have my iPhone plugged in and it's pulling up all my information. So we got my capacity, the name of my phone, the software version, firmware. Okay. So, okay, what we're looking to do is make a backup of a voicemail. So that will be located inside this status tab right here. So we click on data, we'll have a bunch of more options in here. So here's the voicemail option. We're gonna click on that. And you'll notice it says, um, I have no backups on this computer. Um, I back up everything to the cloud. This way I always have it there to iCloud, um, but this, is gonna not pull it from your phone, but pull it from a backup. So we need to go ahead and let it make that backup. Okay, finished. Something like 70,000 plus files. So I have a list here of all the voicemails I have on my phone at the current moment. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say I wanna grab my buddy uh, Daniel Portis, his message he left me. The new it's actually just in him complaining I didn't answer the phone. phone. But anyhow, um, I will click this button down here that says export selected voicemail. Okay, so now it's going to ask me where I want to save the file. I'm just going to choose my desktop. And it's officially exported. So here we have the file right here. And if we go ahead and play it, the new penalty in regards to you not answering the phone uh, works fine. So we successful, successfully exported a voicemail from our phone to our desktop. Now we can open that in QuickTime Player. We can play the it there. New penalty. Now that we have it open to QuickTime, we could go to File, Export, and Export audio only and this will convert it to an m4a file so we'll go ahead and save this to the desktop and you see it's exporting it's done so it's m4a which is uh, an apple standard um, and pretty much you could open it in in any other file so we could do it we could open it in itunes or you know we could auto open it up in audio city uh, there's our file there, so we can open it here, and then we could go and um, export it to an MP3 or whatever other file format you want uh, once we got it in the M4A format. But M4A should be perfect for anyone who's, uh, who's running a Mac. So again, once this pops open, we can see the format here. So we could, you know, we could change it to an MP3 or a WAV. Uh, once we have it in that format, save changes. No. Um, so I hope I hope that helps some of you guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, this isn't the only way to do it, 
But just about every way of doing this actually looks at your backup file and pulls it from your backup file. Uh, this is the easiest way. It does cost a couple of dollars. Um, I explore, they have a demo. They'll let you get to the point of actually exporting it. Um, and that's where they'll stop you. Uh, it would have been nice if they let you do, you know, one or two exports for free. I explore is not that much. Let me, so I explore is running at $34.99. So $35 for an app. So if you really need an easy way of getting a voicemail off your phone, this, this will do it. Um, hopefully that'll help some of you guys out there. Um, there are a lot of other cool features I'm not going to go into that much on my phone, but you could pull call history or photos or um, it's a nice tool to have. It's not, this isn't the only thing you could do with it. You could do a lot more with it, but it is one of the easiest ways of getting voicemail off your phone. Um, again, there's some other ways with some terminal commands um, that could save you to 30 bucks, but um, this is definitely the easiest way. All right, guys, till next time, take care.